It's Learn TV! Hello mga katropa! Nandito tayo ngayon sa Home Depot. Namimili na naman ako ng mga gamit. Ito, bumili ako ng roofing nails saka roofing sealant para sa aking uh, roofing na sira na naman. Whew, napakainit mga katropa! Sobra! Uh, three years in a row na raw na merong drought dito sa California. Pero itong year na to ang pinakamatindi sa lahat. Ito nga eh, September na eh, ano eh, ine-expect ko medyo mahangin na, ah, uh, you know, lalam, lumalamig na. Pero ang init pa rin. Init, super. Hanggang ngayon eh, pinagbabawal pa rin yung uh, uh, pagdidilig ng ano, palagi twice a week lang daw ang ano ang uh, ang pagdidilig patay na patay yung mga halaman eh. pero at least yung mga bushes buhay pa rin pero yung damo patay na patay hukinit So, uh, hindi ko pa rin na, uh, ano, naumpisan. Ang hirap kasi magtrabaho ng, ano, napakainit. Grabe. <sighs> Super. And mankind continued to multiply. In the year 1207 Anumundi, Noah took upon himself a wife and her name was Amzara. They had three sons. First was Shem. He was born in 1209 Anumundi. Then was born Ham in 1211 Anumundi. And lastly was born Japheth in 1212 Anumundi. And it came to pass during the time of Jared, father of Enoch, that heavenly angels called the Watchers disobeyed and sinned against God and mankind. And God, Yahuwah, was very angry, and He gave a commandment to root them out of all their dominions. And the angels heard the command to bind them into the depths of the earth, and behold, they were bound. And as for the sons of the watchers, the Nephilim, a commandment was given that they all be killed by the sword and be removed from under heaven. And God sent his sword into their midst, and they began to slay each other. And their fathers, the watchers, watched as the Nephilim slew each other and removed each other from the face of the earth. As they were bound into the depths of the earth forever until judgment day. But God is always righteous, and therefore to all the children of mankind it is written and ordained in the heavenly tablets that if they turn to him in righteousness, he will forgive all their transgressions and pardon all their sins. He will show mercy to all who turn from all their guilt once each year. This is the Day of Atonement. And in the time of Noah was the world most corrupted. And in the year 1307 Anumundi, during the Feast of Unleavened Bread, Yahuwah came to Noah and commanded him to build the ark that would save them from the waters of the flood. 
And Noah built the ark according to God Yahuwah's specifications, and he built it within a year and a month. And in the year 1308, Anamundi, from the 10th day till the 16th day of the second month, all the animals that were brought to Noah entered the ark. And on the seventeenth day of that month, Noah and his family entered the ark and God Yahuwah closed it from outside on that evening. And God Yahuwah opened seven floodgates of heaven and seven mouths of the fountains of the great deep. And the floodgates of heaven rained water on the earth for forty days and forty nights. And the fountains of the deep also sent up water until the whole world was flooded entirely. And the ark was lifted up above the earth, and it moved upon the face of the waters. And in the middle of the fourth month, the fountains of the great deep and the floodgates of heaven were closed. But the waters still prevailed until the fifth month, a hundred and fifty days. And the water was fifteen cubits above the tallest mountain. And on the new moon of the seventh month, all the mouths of the abysses of the earth were opened. And the water began to descend into the deep below. And on the new moon of the tenth month, the tops of the nearby mountains can be seen. And on the new moon of the first month, the following year, the earth became visible. On the seventeenth day in the second month, the earth was dry. And on the twenty-seventh day of the same month, Noah opened the ark and sent forth all the moving things that were in the ark. And so, as is written, the time it took from the start of the flood till the earth was dry was three hundred and seventy-five days. In our current notation, 17 to 1308 Anamundi to 27 to 1309 Anamundi, the Great Flood came to pass. And the world was once again free from the evils that brought about Yahuwah's wrath and the Great Flood. And on the day of covenant renewal, the 15th of the third month, Noah left the ark and made offerings to Yahuwah, and he made a covenant with him, that there should never be any more flood to destroy the earth, and that all living things on earth should be fruitful and multiply. And mankind once again was given dominion over all living things, all as food to eat, except for the eating of blood and certain animals that cannot be eaten. And from this day, Noah continued to observe the Feast of Weeks, for this is also the day of covenant renewal with our Elohim, Yahuwah. And it was written and ordained that there are four divisions of the year, and these are the middle of the first month, the middle of the fourth month, the middle of the seventh month, and the middle of the tenth month. These are the days of remembrance and the days of the seasons in the four divisions of the year. And Noah's seed continued to multiply, and he began to teach the teachings of the fathers. But no sooner did his sons begin to envy each other. And when Ham built his city south of Lebar, where the ark landed, so did Japheth, who built his city west of Lebar, while Shem built his city with Noah, east of the mountain of Lubar, near the ark. 
These three cities are the first cities after the flood and they were located in what we know now as the Himalayas. And Noah admonished his sons to walk in the path of righteousness and to plant its seeds on the face of the earth in righteousness. And it came to pass that among the descendants of Shem was Kainam, son of Arpaxad, son of Shem. Kainam learned writing from his father, and when he grew up, he went to seek a place for himself where he might build a city. And while prospecting, Kainam found a writing which former generations have carved on the rock. Kainam read what was on the rock and transcribed it, and he sinned owing to it. For it contained the teachings of the watchers in accordance with their sciences. Kainam wrote it down and said nothing regarding it because he was afraid Noah would get angry. And thus, this is how the religion of the watchers was reborn. And Kainam begat Shila. And in the year 1503 Anamundi, Shila begat Eber, the patriarch of the Hebrews or Hebrews. Eber had two sons. The first was Peleg, born in 1567 Anamundi. And he was named Peleg, for in the days that he was born, the children of Noah began to divide the earth amongst themselves. And the second is named Yoktan. And by lot, these parts were given. For Shem, the territory we know as Asia, the Middle East, the North Pole, and the rest of the Orient. For Ham, the continent we know as Africa, and the rest of the Southern Hemisphere. And for Japheth, the territory we know as Europe, and the rest of the Northern Hemisphere. And the sons of Noah divided their lots amongst their children in the presence of Noah. And Noah their father bound them all by an oath that a spoken curse be on anyone that sought to seize another person's lot. And it came to pass that the unclean demons began to lead astray the children of the sons of Noah. And Noah told his sons about the watchers and how in his time they corrupted the earth with their wickedness. And God Yahuwah commanded to bind them all into the depths of the earth. And Noah prayed to Yahuwah concerning these unclean demons, the spirit of the sons of the watchers that by his grace his sons will be saved from their wickedness for only god may have dominion over them and god yahuwah heard noah's prayer and commanded the angels to bind them all and the chiefs of the spirits mastema came and said yahuwah creator let some of them remain before me and let them listen to my voice let them do as I say, for if some of them are not left to me, I may not be able to execute the power of my will on the sons of men, for they are for the corruption and leading astray before my judgment, and great is the wickedness of the sons of men. And God said, Let a tenth part of them remain with him, and let nine parts descend into the place of condemnation. They roam the earth to this day. And God commanded one of the angels to teach Noah all their medicines, and he wrote it in a book. 
In the year 1576 Anamundi, Peleg took for himself a wife named Lomna. And three years later, they had a child named Reu. And in this time, the children of men became evil to the purpose of building a city and a tall tower in the land of Shinar, saying, Let us go and ascend there into heaven. And Yahuwah said, Behold, they are one people, and this they begin to do, and now nothing will be withholding from them. And so Yahuwah confounded their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. And then they may be dispersed into cities and nations. One purpose will no longer abide with them till the day of judgment. And Noah died in the year 1,659 Anumundi. And Yahuwah destroyed the tower, and the entire land of Shinar was called Babel, for this is the place where God confounded their language. And the sons of Noah began to disperse into their territories. And when Ham and his sons were on their way to their allotted portion, Canaan saw that the land that would be called Israel was good, and he seized it for himself and didn't go to the land that was his. It is for this reason that Canaan was cursed, for they have all taken an oath to not take another man's land. And mankind continued to multiply. And Reu begat Zero. And in this time, the sons of Noah began to war on each other, and they began to worship molten images. And Zero became Serug, and he worshipped idols. He took for himself a wife, and she bore him a son named Nahor. And Nahor begat Terah. And the prince Mastema continued to bring pestilence in the land. And Terah begat Abram in the year 1876 Anumundi. And Abram grew up to be a righteous man, full of good deeds, and he knew Yahuwah in his heart. And God Yahuwah made a covenant with Abram that he will be the father of many nations and he will give him the land of Canaan and possess it forever. And Yahuwah changed Abraham's name to Abraham. And Abraham's seed began to grow into the next millennium. Thus ended the second millennium of mankind and Yahuwah's first day. Don't forget to click on the notification bell. Thank you again for watching. Please support our channel by liking, subscribing now. It's free. Yeah, mga katropa, hanggang dito na lang. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.